hi guys thanks a lot for clicking on this video my name is Eunice and you are welcome to my channel if this is the first time that you are watching my video you are so welcome and this is a natural hair care channel we share more about natural hair care tips product reviews diys everything that you should know about natural hair now to my returning subscribers thanks a lot for stopping by thanks thanks again for coming around to watch my videos so if you have been watching my videos for some time now you know that i'm currently um, sharing more information on shampoo formulation and we are embarking on shampoo formulation series or oh, yeah so this is actually my fifth my fifth video i think yeah on my shampoo formulation series now i'm moving to the next part which is the conditioning shampoo so if you want to know how to formulate a, a conditioning shampoo just watch this video till the end because this particular video i'm going to be discussing or sharing with you the ingredients that i usually use to formulate clarif um, conditioning shampoo this is necessary because next week i will just head right into the formulation process and i wouldn't need to be explaining a lot about the shampoo or about the ingredients for formulating the conditioning shampoo so if you are watching this video now and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please just take some moment take just a few seconds to hit on the subscribe button down below and then also on the notification button so that you are notified whenever i upload my videos thanks a lot for doing that i really appreciate it so conditioning shampoos are usually called two-in-one shampoos because these shampoos um, play the role of clarifying and conditioning all in one yes so that's why they are called conditioning shampoos now a normal conditioning shampoo contains usually an emulsifying agent a quaternary agent a moisturizing agent and also other ingredients so conditioning shampoos usually contain cationic surfactants and these surfactants usually bind to the hair and helps to promote smooth manageable and unstatic hair so let's look at the main ingredients that are needed to formulate a conditioning shampoo now if you want to formulate a great conditioning shampoo these are very very essential ingredients the first i want to talk about are the quaternary ammonium component which is also um, referred as the quaternary agent so these are unstatic agents and what they really do is to bind to the hair cuticles and help to seal in moisture they also help to soften the hair make it manageable prevent the hair from being stiff and help to give the smooth feel to the hair now these personal components are what really give slips in products and so they really give the shampoos this very great slip and there are a lot of quaternary components or quaternary ingredients available one of the major quaternary ingredients that i would mention is the bcms which is the bentimonium chloride yes it is a very very great quaternary agent and it is also abundant usually when you get to your retailer and you say you're looking for btms they will definitely get btms for you another quaternary ingredient that i would talk about is cationic gar this is also a very very great um, ingredient that has this slippery feel it gives a slippery feel to the product and helps really really in detangling it also quaternary which means that it helps to it also binds to the hair to help with like smoothing and all that now there are a lot of other quaternary agents that i will put them in the description box so that you just see them so we have btms we have the cationic guy we also have the centimonium chloride and yes we have we have the centimonium chloride and there are a lot of other quaternary agents that you can find available to use if you are going to formulate your two-in-one shampoo now i just want to make a little clarification because i mentioned btms and i said bentimonium chloride now bentimonium chloride is btmc and btms is bentimonium methyl sulfate so they all perform similar functions and they are all quaternary agents so another important ingredients that i use in formulating conditioning shampoos are the emulsifying ingredients or emulsifying agents now these emulsifying agents what they do is usually to help with the stability of the product so they bind the water molecules and the oils together then they, it 
it prevents them from separating so usually when you use this emulsifying agent um, your product is not going to separate and when you mix the water phase and oil phase they all mix together to form this um, great product that you use so the most common emulsifying agents that are used in formulating conditioning shampoos are btms now i mentioned btms previously as an equatinary agent and i'm mentioning it here because btms is also like it's more like a two-in-one something it performs more emulsifying it has this emulsifying functions and also it also performs discretionary functions that i mentioned earlier on so there's btms there's emulsifying wax there's also the polysorbate 20 we also have the satirial alcohol all of these are different different uh, ingredients that can be used to emulsify the products but you you also need to know more about the ingredients so that when you are formulating you know which of the emulsifying waxes and at what percentage that you have to use them so the next ingredients that i also talk about that i used in formulating and um, conditioning shampoos are the amboteric surfactants now amboteric surfactants are usually surfactants that do not carry any charge so we have anionic surfactants we have cationic surfactants we also have the non-ionic and amboteric the amboteric carries no charge and because of this it is able to work well with other types of surfactants however because we usually use the cationic surfactants which are the btms and the rest in the conditioning shampoos we need the amboteric surfactants to help to boost foam or to help to provide more cleansing mild cleansing effect and so they are going to work well with the cationic surfactants and so amphoteric surfactants are great to be added to conditioning shampoos and one most common amphoteric surfactant that it is available to be used in conditioning shampoos is the cocoa bentane now these are the major like the main ingredients that you need when you're going to formulate your conditioning shampoo aside that we have other ingredients that also help to, to boost the stability of the product and also the functionality of the product now we have the oils you can add any oils we also have the ph adjusters if there's a need to adjust the ph we also have the humectants the glycerin the you can also add your extract any extracts at all you can also add it the thickness all of these are added to condition shampoo just to help with the functionality of the shampoos however the main main ingredients that are really really needed in conditioning shampoos are the quaternary agents the emulsifying agents and also the amputeric surfactants so now that we know about the ingredients that are needed in formulating the conditioning shampoo i would be showing you in a bit the formula that i wrote for my conditioning shampoo now just to show you this formula so that you are aware of it in case you want to recreate this product you are able to do that so now that we have the formula and we have the ingredient we are ready to go into formulation and so next week i will be showing you the process in formulating the conditioning shampoo this is quite different from the process in formulating the clarifying shampoo that i showed previously and so it will be very 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 great for you to see this video thank you so much for watching this video if you were able to watch this video till this point thanks a lot for doing so i really appreciate it and also do not forget to like this video leave a comment if you want to see more of these content and also let me know uh, if you would be trying this uh, shampoo if you have the ingredients available thanks a lot and i'll definitely see you same time next week until then as always do stay blessed